Hello again, it's now time for Mission, and Mission is supported by Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid, and the EU. Let's begin with education. And the Tikarini Evangelical Presbyterian Basic School in the Mandai district of the northern region has received sets of furniture from a philanthropist. Stanley Nibli reports the donation follows TV3 Mission's constant report on the difficulties pupils endure during classes. The Tikarini Evangelical Presbyterian School, since its establishment 14 years ago, has provided formal education to more than 4,000 pupils in more than three adjoining communities. Pupils are fortunate to have a decent school building, but it is challenged. The school lacks furniture, compelling pupils to sit or lie on bare floor to undertake academic work. In some classes, broken pieces of desk are what serve pupils. Even this is accessed on first-come, first-served basis, while few proper dual desks are shared by four pupils. Good pupils in most cases had to wash their uniform three times a week. Teachers find the situation disturbing. It was very poor because children will be lying at times. Somebody you see him writing that he will be sleeping. The state of inadequate furniture, coupled with the ripping off of the roof of their school building in February last year, exposed both teachers and pupils to danger. But the member of parliament for Pandai, Matthew Nindam, released money from his MP's common fund to re-roof the school building after TV3 Mission's constant report on the danger the situation posed to occupants. He also ensured the school receives a new finish. Two months on, a philanthropist, Angelina Yabua, has also donated 40 dual desks to the school after TV3 aired the story. Her gesture has alleviated the plight pupils go through to acquire education. I'm an ardent duo of TV3, I must say, and uh, I, I follow your news, in particular the mission stories, and I looked at the plight of students in several places, so I just thought that it was fair to help. I had to contact a few friends and families and then also sell the idea to them. So one day decided and agreed that they would support me. I thought it was, it, was, it was good to give back to society, something to help the less privileged to also come up, especially if you see the enthusiasm with which the children are still learning under those difficult conditions, then it is just fair that we all contribute and then help to build our nation. Angelina Yabua is hopeful of broadening her tentacles. The pupils are happy and confident their handwriting will now improve. I feel comfortable and it will make me to write very well. I am feel happy because we cannot sit well. We were lying down and writing. Some of our colleagues were sitting on the desk. One, one deck says people. Staff are equally happy. TV3 people also came. They assured us that they will help. And through that, actually, today we are in heaven. Because what you are saying is very good for us. It will help the children to learn hard. They commended TV3 for causing a positive change in the school. And the second thanks goes to you. Because highlighting this particular school made so many people so that really were in serious crashes and for that matter through your 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 initiative that has made our madam to also do a what a follow-up to this particular school district chief executive for bandai emmanuel Ata tata blatter commended tv3 for helping to reduce the burden on the assembly i feel, I feel okay and feel proud and I'm very happy that I've gotten all this to also at least cushion me to be able to also say that uh, at least uh, your presence here has not been for nothing. At least people think that you have come to expose us, but at least it is yielding results for us. What we have received today, we have given to the school, they are very happy and the community members have also come around to appreciate what your exposure has brought to them.
and I think we have to applause you for the good work done. Faustina Nayan is also the education director for the Pandai district. The children used to lie on their stomachs to write, and that would make them have a very bad handwriting. But with the furniture involved, they will now sit comfortably on the furniture and write and have a very decent handwriting. And teaching and learning will improve. They will no longer buy soup. That money that they will be using every day to buy soup will now be their pocket monies to develop the family. Tikarini Evangelical Presbyterian Basic School has got three of its problems addressed, but would also require assistance to address its water situation.